start in Dallas, Texas, in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be led out by a second-round pick back in April out of Oklahoma by way of Alabama. It's Jim and Hurts. And he is hot, hot, hot. Yeah, okay, so there's a blemish in there, right? He did throw one interception last in the last game. The five touchdown passes. Okay, that's the offset you want. I say bench him. Five <laughs> touchdowns, one interception. You are a tough coach. <laughs> I thought the ratio was if you got the three to one, your quarterback was operating at peak efficiency. Five to one. And a win. And a win. Yeah, just let him keep throwing it. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They go play action with Hurts. On the run, he'll let this go. He's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. Miles Sanders' first period of the game. Had some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game, that game that we're all going to reflect on and go, oh, my goodness, did he put up a number, let's say 200 plus? The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Sanders. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Miles Sanders, the ball carrier. That's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. For the point out. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. This is Tony Pollard. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. You hear so many discussions about Dak Prescott. Is he one of the top quarterbacks in the league? Is he still ascending? What does he need to do to get there? All I know is that when he's in control of the Dallas offense, they were number one in the league last year in terms of yards per play. And he was second in the league in passing yards with over 4,900. This guy gets it done, and his team really likes it as their leader. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Recover. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow and safe throws, right? But with a runner, there's no such thing as a safe run, right? And right out of the gate, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions. Some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it down there and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. After the penalty, it's Elliott. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. He stopped short of the 35. He's brought the numbers for Zeke from last week. 23 carries, 87 yards. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now, number three in the league in rushing with a shouting distance of the, of the lead. But at the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that, too. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and 11. On third down, it's Prescott. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Partner, we had their game last week where they had six sacks. So a little bit more momentum here again in the first quarter. And last week it appeared that they were coming out of sprinter's blocks chasing the quarterback. So how do they continue that? How do they keep making it happen? Different looks. Different disguises, different angles that they chase it. They were so disruptive last week. We'll see what the trend is here as we go forward. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, to be disappointed with that effort. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. He'll get three up to midfield. Miles Sanders, the ball. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 44. Could be four down territory, even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll try and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And five yards on the play there. It's a drive will continue. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. That's caught by Jackson. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Bird sets up to throw it. This ball complete to Rager. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Complete to Jalen Rager. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. For the point after. Well, they have to be loving this start to the first quarter. Well, the way that they're going, I mean, they're about two touchdown drives already. They feel very confident and feel like they have all the answers in this game. They're one point away from going up 14 to nothing. Maybe they press the advantage and go for two. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Pollard. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Cowboys take over first and 10. At their own. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. 
a lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Yards to go. Prescott from the gun on third. And he'll go underneath Julian Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Prescott looks to throw on first. And we find the rookie from Oklahoma, C.D. Lamb. 11 more on that one and another first down. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. The first down carry by Elliott. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Kill Elliott, the ball carrier. Brandon, all things considered, they had to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. But he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting the ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. Cowboys, Irvine connects on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14-7 for Dallas. Taken in the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. You can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Now Sanders. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. And after his performance last week, everybody saw it unbelievable. You can expect a heavy dose of him again, I think. Without a doubt. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because... Once you establish yourself that way, it's not just him, okay? It's his offensive line, it's a tight end, it's your wide receivers, everyone now sharing in the load and sharing in the belief that they do their job, they'll see another performance just like they saw the week before. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Third down. Throwing his hurts. Yards to go. And this is caught by Jackson. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's how you convert on third down with an explosive gain of 34. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. We're running on first down is Sanders, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage before he's taken down. A loss of one. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping it for a loss. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation, showing a shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And Jeffrey's got it. 
first pass. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Sanders, and the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. He's already scored once. He definitely had his eyes wide open trying to get in there a second time, but that was a really nice play defensively. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders, touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Eagles add six to their lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talked about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside to create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's, he recognized That's a smart man. He knew what else he should do. If this continues, take a ball to dinner. Tony Pollard on the return. The Cowboys about set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, it's keeping it away from danger. A really nice and rough drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Prescott on first down. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. Four receivers now in the formation. Three to the left, one to the right on second and seven. At the Eagles, 41 yard line. Prescott with a throw caught by Lamb. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 21. Good for 20 on the catch and run. First and so these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they have panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a gain of three. It's third and one. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. The Eagles take over first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 24-yard line. On 
second down. It's Sanders, and he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Of course, he's coming off that NFC Offensive Player of the Week performance. Two scores in that game a week ago. And how did he get them? Speed is one thing, but how about the niftiness in his route running, able to cross people up in the secondary and make sure that they can't quite get to him before the ball arrives. He's something after the catch as well. Three yards the game there, second down. At the Cowboys, Hurts. Six yards. He's going to take off, and he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Sanders. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The ball carrier. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Here's Hurts to throw, and he whips that one incomplete there. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Yards. Good job. Out of the gun now on third down. And he comes back with one complete. Yeah, the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That's becoming quite the half he's had here. Remember in our pregame meetings, they talked about wanting to run the football and staying with it. Well, when you're scoring this many touchdowns, there's no reason to go away from it, is there? They're off to a fantastic start. They hope it continues. Three already for it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now Pollard. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuff to animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And he'll be stuck right at midfield. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. Prescott now from the 50. Able to hit his target lamb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and a yard at the 41-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Murray Cooper from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. Oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. C.D. Lamb is intended target, but it'll be second down. 
And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. By Fletcher Cox in there to bring him down, and that is sack number 17 now on the season. Third and long for Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Oh, oh, that's the down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? I mean, that's third and long, and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. On second down now, it's Sanders, and he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys. 40-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. First down, Eagles. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. On first down, Sanders. Miles Sanders. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They'll run with Sanders. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. A gain of 13. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Gone after the sack. He's still down on the field. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Second down. Here's Hurts. The hitter here is complete. Hurts. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. Yeah, I'm talking to the number players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Only Pollard on the return. The Cowboys take over first and ten. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. Under pressure, they got him again. Fletcher Cox in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. To try again after the sack. Prescott. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott. Third down here. Ezekiel Elliott. Incomplete. It's now third down and 16. Now Elliott. And he'll get this one up to the 26. One. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Chris, so on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. 
And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. So we reach halftime. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Cowboys 10. Jake Elliott to kick off. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. At their own 37 yard. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Second half starts with the carry by Elliott. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Ezekiel Elliott, the ball carry. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's a pickup of three. Brings up off play game. action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Gun. Here's Prescott over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half of this one, number five. Yard line. They'll run with Elliott. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11 at the 50-yard line. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. And seven. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And finally out of bounds, just a few yards short of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. At the three. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Take Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. No gain on the play. Brings up third and goal. Prescott on third and goal. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. The Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. First and 10 at their own 22. Now back to work for Miles Sanders. In the, the Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. He was brought down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Game of two. Brings up second and eight at the 24-yard line. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Miles Sanders. That probably reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's got his man in stride, complete. 
And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. This ball complete to Rager. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for. That time it cost them. They'll go again with Sanders. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Again, the ball carrier. He was brought. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. He's dead now. They're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was for touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. Slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. For Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. At their own, the Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Oh, what a juke into space. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Last play, they got stuck at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. The tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. Have you watched tape of him in college? You saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlights showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defenses. Those exact type of runs. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. Second and nine. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's mad to cut the line of scrimmage. Jalen Mills on the touch. Jalen Mills hit on the stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Again, it's Elliott. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Back-to-back no, -back stops make it third and ten. It's third and ten. Prescott from the gun. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Fletcher Cox, it's his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. A 58-yard attempt. 
And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Sanders, the Eagle ball carrier. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It's only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 15 yards on the play, first down. It's been a remarkable day at the office for him running the football. Those yards just continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double-digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove to your offensive line that you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every play. Running backs often do, so those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. Three yards the game there, second down at the 42-yard line. Here's Sanders. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A gain of 13, it's a first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. First down, Philadelphia. On first down, Scott. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it. Most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that, so when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now Sanders. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Sanders again. The Neville Hewitt on the stop. Tackle made at the 16. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. We're back now in Arlington. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Throwing his hurts. Bot hurts. Bumblesen. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnovers. <laughs> don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 23-yard line. To throw again on second down. Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Back-to-back oh, -back good plays have them on the move on first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Cowboys. First down. On first and 10. Press 
Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Prescott, a gain of six there on first. Schultz. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. You got the big lead defensively. He's willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. It's a gain of five. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. 15-yard line. Prescott yet again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. The scoreboard tells the story for him a little bit bleak, and while it's not quite desperation time yet, it's definitely getting close, but the defense reads the scoreboard as well. They're going to back up and make them really earn it. And Zerline's kick is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. At their own 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your team there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Another run here with Sanders. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker in now it's third down. They'll run it, Sanders. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. The defensive tackle end up making the play. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Right, Alan Smith there on the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. It was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Off the play fake. Lewis Hurts. And he's going to go down again. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. It has been a good game for them. They haven't been pressured very much today. But on back-to-back -back sacks, maybe the defense is starting to figure something out. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And with a final fortnight of games upon us, teams jockeying for position. Some of these games are really starting to take enormous importance as they always do this time of year. I like how you use fortnight. But I am impressed. And I am impressed. That means two weeks, if I'm not mistaken, does. correct? That does. But how about exactly what you're talking about? Going down the stretch, how much importance is placed on these games? Look, everyone talks about every game's important. <laughs> when you get to this time of year, maybe that importance gets quadruple. And that's where we are right now to see who can make their last run, their last push to get into the playoffs.
seven yards there at a first down. First down ten at the 49-yard line. Prescott to throw it. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll throw again. Prescott. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second down six at the 27-yard line. And again, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Not something you want to see. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. But just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now James returning. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. 23 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. There's still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. No gain on the play there. Second down. The line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the 24 yard Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. That catch now puts him on the doorstep of 500. It's his 499th reception. On first down, Sanders. The handoff to two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Sanders. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get it behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. They go play action with Hurts. And this is caught by Jackson. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, his second touchdown of the game, 17th of the year. And the Eagles had six to their lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, we have a lead late. Don't just tuck in and try to ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. 30. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. 25 yard the Dallas offense back out onto the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get over to those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. It's way easier said than done. But they got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Complete two fourth quarter. Every drive so critical, and you figure they only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to 
yourself in play calling. Don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second. It even matter. Cowboys. First and ten at the 50-yard line. Prescott now from the 50. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. Darius Slay on the coverage. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. Over the middle complete. That's Schultz. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. To the air again, Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing to, having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game set. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Sanders, and he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaking up down there on the field. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. Sanders, Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. five brings up second and five. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. And it's third down. On third down, Sanders. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. As an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong, whatever you call